Good afternoon to my friends. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've been here before. Um, my husband did get me Arby's. For lunch. Um, oof, it definitely did not agree with me very well. My stomach is so upset and ugh, gurgling. But it was still really good, but just didn't agree with me, I guess, today. Um... Yeah, I know I said I might try to do a mukbang. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll try next time. I just was super hungry. And you guys don't want to see that. <laughs> not like I'm like a pig. Or like wharfed out my food. I just wanted to enjoy it without trying to talk to somebody. Or talk to you guys, you know. Even though you guys can't. Um, respond to me back right away. It, it'll be later. <laughs> but, yeah. So this is how my Saturday's going so far. And, um, yeah, I like to just relax in bed in the morning, and the well into the afternoon, and, like, watch, because, like, I don't have anybody to look after, right? Like, I would be obviously be looking after Benjamin if he was here. Um, but, because it's just me and my husband and my mother-in-law I have nobody to look after so and my husband's right now walking Willow I guess I have Willow to look after but my husband usually does it on the weekends because I do it during the day on the weekdays so that's just our agreement it's always been that way even bef before we had Benjamin because we've, we've had Willow for three years she's gonna be she's like three and a half almost yeah we got her she was born in August. We got her in November. Actually, on Remembrance Day. So. Yep. She was actually originally my father-in-law and his wife. So, I guess my stepmother-in-law. Um, but she has fibromyalgia. So. And she's really jumpy and hyper. And it was hurting her when she would, like, jump on her. So. Yep, so we got her, and I'm so happy. She's part of my family. I love her to death, and she's like my child to me too, right? Like, don't get me wrong, um, Benjamin would have been number one if Benjamin was here. Benjamin still is my number one. He has a place in my heart where nobody can ever replace him in my life. Nobody, even another baby, cannot replace Benjamin. Benjamin will always have, Benjamin will always have a piece of my heart. He has the biggest piece of my heart ever. And he took that with him when he left. And, you know, um, he'll always have it. And no one can ever replace Benjamin in my life. Even another baby, like I said. So, even if I have another boy. Which I do hope I get a girl. Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Um, just because I really like the name that I picked out. But, I don't know. We might not be able to use Le um, Leyland. So, but then again, we might be able to use Jesse. Like, I picked out the next set of names that I like. Me and my husband both agreed on because I'm going to put away Dulcinea. But still keep Maria because it would be Leyland Maria. So, but yeah. And, I don't know. We'll see. You obviously cannot really name your child until you see them, I think. Because the moment they told us it was a boy, my husband looked at me. Um, he said, should we use Benjamin? Like we planned um, for our first son. And I was like, well, let's see until we see him. Like, you know, I don't want to use that name if he doesn't look like Benjamin. And he looked like Benjamin. Uh, my little Benny Boo Boo. That's his nickname, if you guys don't know. Um... I call him my little Benny Boo Boo. When I say goodnight to him and we kiss his box, his little that he is in, it's behind that or somewhere on here, on the other side, in between that right there. You see it. The ashes box is kind of right by the bear's leg. That's the bear we actually got from the hospital. But that one's just I have up here in our room, and we have his weighted bear on the couch in the living room and then we have another bear that has his birth announcements on it it's like a little angel 
that's on the shelf that we created and yeah so yeah and we have little tiny little stuffies that you know my mom bought or my mother-in-law bought um but yeah anyways guys i'm just gonna probably watch some more youtube um yeah i actually was planning on making a shopper's drug mart order because there's some things i need and it's nice to get the points because if you don't know like our president our like grocery stores through loblaws which can be like president's choice no frills um i think longos i'm not 100 percent too sure um anyways it's all under this um and shoppers drug mart it's all under the loblaws stores so you can collect the shoppers drug mart the gas um shoppers drug mart and i think one of the gas stations but i don't remember but you can also um, for Shopper's Drug Mart, it's even better than... Sorry about that. My alarm is going off. Um, so yeah, Shopper's Drug Mart is better for points, I believe, because for every dollar you spend, you get, um, points for every dollar you spend. Unlike sh Superstore or, um, No Frills or whatever, you, it depends on the items in the store. Whereas in every, almost everything at Shopper's Drug Mart, besides like a lottery, you can collect points for everything you buy. So, I'm planning on doing a little shopper drug mart order. So, I think I actually am going to do that. Um, I'm going to grab my laptop. <laughs> Hold on. So, made my shopper drug mart order. So, that should be coming in five to nine business days, it says. And I earned 29,200 points. I had, I earned 2,800 bonus points from, if you bought the Quo brand, if you bought three items from Quo brand, which I did, and then regular points, I just earned 1,200 points for regular, but I earned 2,800 bonus, so I had 29,200 points earned, and I already had um, almost $50 worth of points. Now this is gonna give me like almost a little uh, over seventy six thousand points. I'm gonna have so I can that's like seventy five dollars worth of worth of food if I needed it, um, or if I wanted to just um, buy things for myself. Um, yeah, this is exciting, and um, yeah. I cannot wait for that. And then I think I also got like a free item for International Women's Day. Which I don't know if that's today or not. Let me see. When is International Women's Day? Monday, March 8th. So on Monday, it's International Women's Day. So that's cool. That's exciting, I think, I guess. I don't know, is it? I don't know if it is. And the 8th is going to be on Monday, I think. Because today is the 6th. So yeah, on Monday, this Monday. Moving International Women's Day. So thank a woman in your life when that day comes. Because... We all wouldn't be here without women, right? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm tired, but I don't know. Um, my stomach is still like bleh, from the Arby's. Oh, I shouldn't have ate it. Oh, I hate feeling like crap. And that's how I feel right now. But yeah, I don't know. I'm happy I made that order for Shepherd's Drug Mart, though. So that's exciting. <sighs> Anywho. How do I log out of my account here? Account. Log out. There we go. Oh. <sighs> Oh, 
what the heck was that? Get 25,000 bonus points. Me spend $75 online. Mar and on online only. And it's March 7th. So I should have got this too. Shouldn't I have? Details. I don't know. I don't know. I should have got it. Maybe that was included? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> you guys, I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling really poopy. Like my stomach hurts. And it goes like that and it's gurgly. It's like blah, 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 boop. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's from the Arby's. It's hurting my tummy. So I'm laying in my room, in my bed, obviously. Because I don't wanna be too far from the bathroom if you catch my drift. I've already had to go like three times since eating that. And it was not good. All three of those times. So I'm just lying here sipping on some ginger ale that my husband got for me. I might take a nap while watching YouTube. So. But yeah, I think this is going to be my Saturday. I'm probably going to end up cutting it short now. Pretty much this whole vlog has been in my room. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really left my room besides going to the bathroom. And I definitely ain't taking you guys in there when I go. So, I don't know. I might take a little bit of a nap and might go out in the living room later and lay down on the couch. With my husband, watch him play video games. Fun stuff. But... I don't know, unless I just have a bedroom day and lay in here. I might just do that and watch movies or something later. But yeah, I don't know if I'll even try anything new today for you guys. I was planning on it. Maybe later I'll feel better, I don't know. But my stomach is just so uneasy. Ugh. Mm. And, like, it doesn't help, like, I had a donair last night for supper from a place, takeout place, and then having Arby's when I wake up, pretty much, like, didn't eat anything, so, <sighs> I don't know, hopefully I feel better tomorrow, but I don't feel very good, <laughs> uh. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, maybe watch a movie, take a little of a nap till supper. Then maybe I'll show you guys my supper. I want something easy on my tummy, so maybe chicken. I don't know. <sighs> Help. <laughs> I want my mommy. She always makes everything better. I don't know. Mommies have that touch, I guess. Hello, everybody. I slept at uh, the Winter Inn a couple nights. But, you know, the assistant took my temperature today. Three six. But, my stomach's still gurgly and gross, so. I don't know. I think I'm just going to end it here. I'm not going to try anything new tonight. So, just going to end it here. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I feel much better. Love you guys. Mwah. Good night.
Bye.